This tutorial forms part of our basic computer training course and is suitable for any beginner. And for those looking to qualify in the European Computer Driving Licence, the course covers Equal Skills Elements 2.3, 2.4, 2.5 and 2.6. The lesson is about the taskbar and opening applications. We've taken a look at icons and gadgets and now we need to take a look at our taskbar. The taskbar runs along the bottom of our screen and it will remain visible to us whatever we are doing unless we hide it or when running certain software. So let's take a look at it. At the bottom left hand corner of our taskbar is what's known as the start button and this has a Windows symbol on it and from our start button we can open navigation and this can navigate to anything we want within our computer and we'll go through this in a lot more detail in another tutorial. Next to the start button are a couple of icons. Now I have to have these icons here and I want you to ignore them because all it is is the software that I'm using to record this tutorial. On the far right of our taskbar we have a time and date and that should be visible on your computer as well. We have a speakers icon and we can adjust the volume if we left click. We have our internet access and again if we left click on that it will show us what internet is available to us. Battery and mains charger icon showing that our battery is fully charged and then we have a flag on this computer which tells me that I've got two messages for my PC. You may not have that and you may have some other icons for the different types of software that you're running on a computer but those ones along the right are the main ones that you should have. Battery, internet connection, speakers and date and time. On our taskbar we can actually pin programs to it that we use frequently. So if we frequently use Internet Explorer as our browser we can actually pin this to our taskbar if we right click to open a menu and then towards the middle pin to taskbar and if we left click on that the Internet Explorer icon will appear on our taskbar and just with one click we can open the application. and if I minimize that down it will go down and sit on our taskbar. And If we open an application for our documents, so if I double click the left mouse button on our documents icon, my documents library appears and if I minimize that down that will sit on our taskbar. So you can see we can have different windows open and when we minimize them they just sit on our taskbar ready for us to use them until we actually close out of the program. And the final thing I'm going to show you from our taskbar is the correct way to shut down your computer and that's to go to your start button, left click, menu opens and at the bottom on the right hand side shut down. You've also got an arrow with various options there. Just left click on shutdown and that is the correct way to shut down your computer. Thanks very much.